Hello, beautiful. Can you wake up for me? Can you open those beautiful, beautiful eyes? There we go. Shh, 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 shh. Don't be alarmed. My name is Isabella. I don't think I've ever met another one, although I'm sure there's some wandering about in the tundras of the world, but as of right now, I am the Ice Queen at your service. Now, I know you're probably thinking, what am I doing here? Well, I always scour the lands, searching for the beloved one to me, and I've tried a few, I've found some, but they never work out. The last person I had in here said that my touch reminded them of a dead person's hand and I thought that was quite rude as my cold body temperature is a part of my condition and not something I could really help so it's quite low of someone, don't you think? Anyway, that's just my nice way of warning you, I guess. I don't really like people that are disparaging for things one cannot help like acne body temperature from a magical spell cast on your bloodline thousands of years ago. It's just rude. Anyway, like I was saying, you, my darling, my darling, my darling, I saw you walking through as I was perhaps stalking the local intersections. <laughs> and I saw you, the most radiant being, bless my vision, more beautiful, more radiant than the sun, than a thousand sunsets. It was magical, truly, and I knew that I had to have you. I do apologize for the, um, the means of getting you here. I'm sure you don't even remember a thing, do you? It's probably for the best, anyway. You see, the cold is very good for, um, shutting the body down without really killing you, necessarily, so please forgive say, no, my touch is cold. That's what I was telling you earlier. It's something I can't help. Hmm. Yes. Oh, what happened to them? I threw them in my prisoner pit, where there were actual dead bodies for them to caress. I found it ironic and quite hilarious. <laughs> when you say this is much better than a dead person, what I thought. But don't worry, I would never hurt you, my beautiful precious. You are the one sent to me by the gods, I am sure of it. Yes. Well, I did put up some more homey decor in here. I put some fabric so it's not just all ice, and I've captured the northern lights to give you some lighting of your own in here. It gets a bit like the sun, it kind of melts it all, so I'll make sure we get a little fire pit in here or something later, most likely, but how about now? Are you, are you too cold? You are. Well, you are in luck. I have brought you a gift, okay? Hold on. Here's your surprise. We have some warm tea. It's great for calming the nerves. I know you're probably quite on edge right now. Just for right now, though, you can trust me, and you will soon. Don't worry, you don't have to say anything or decide anything. I've already decided everything for us. Just take your time to process it, okay? And drink this before it gets cold, okay? We want it to heat up your core temperature. Okay. There you go. Okay. Yeah, just let that kick in a little bit, okay? I'm gonna put this down. If you want any more later, just let me know. Now, are you still too cold? Do you need a blanket or anything like that? Yes, okay. I 
I do. Maybe, maybe, well, actually not maybe. Obviously you'll see them later as long as you behave and we go through with this wedding as planned, of course. They'll be your butlers. We have some other animals too, of course. Anything that loves the cold. Polar bears, sea lions. We even have some in our walls. <laughs> anyway, that tea that I gave you combined with the cold that just my hands can provide are going to put you into quite a hibernated state. No, there was not poison in the tea, silly. Herbs. I was not lying, it is herbs.
You don't have to stay with me here. Just let the cold void wrap you up in ignorant bliss. <laughs> yes. Sweet dreams, my sweet. Hello. You've made it to the end of the video. Click here to subscribe. And click here for some good videos or playlists.